welcome to another cover preparation. I thought, what did I think? I don't know. On Friday, going on vacation with my parents. Today is Monday and um, it's the first day after my vacation. And of course, I feel a bit down. I kind of want to cover Wicked Game. But I don't know yet. I'm super tired. I was that tired when I recorded Bury a Friend and it turned out better than I expected. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Wanted to record a cover, but I don't know if I'm able to because I'm again not that motivated and I'm super tired and I don't know. I just, it's just a bad day, I think. I feel bad. Um, so I thought putting makeup in my face will cheer me up a bit. Um, can feel it yet, but maybe in a few minutes, I don't know. I need to get one of my cats to the doctor later because um, she has weird bruises in her neck and over her eye. And um, I don't know, they're bleeding because she's scratching them over and over again. And I... I don't know, I'm a bit worried. So let's see what the doctor says. Um, I hope she's fine. So I actually worked a bunch of minutes ago on my next cover. You guys decided on Instagram I did a poll on Instagram and you had the choice between Do I Wanna Know by the Arctic, Mon Arctic Monkeys and Wonderwall by Oasis and most of you guys wanted Wonderwall. So today I'm so not motivated at all. Welcome to another day when I feel worthless and I'm asking myself or I kind of blame myself for throwing my life away because I really think that I could be a singer. <laughs> How to lose stubborn belly fat in 20 days. <laughs> I just feel like talking to my phone right now because uh, I don't know. It's hard to open up to people. And for me, it's easier to open up to my phone too. Sad. <laughs> sad, sad, sad. So, I don't know. I feel like I want to talk about my insecurities, maybe. What is the sense of this video? <laughs> my insecurities are always there. I think about them every day. I mean, everyone thinks about their insecurities every day. Kinda. I mean, everyone has insecurities, right? I hope. I don't hope. I mean, it's fine. When there's someone out there who don't have insecurities, that's great. I mean, congratulations. That's insane um i don't know i felt like talking about it today this is weird i don't know i just think when i talk about it maybe some of you will feel better because i feel like that i mean of course people don't talk that much about negative things right and um, I mean, a world without negative things is a better word. I get that, but um, I mean, I have to deal with all this negative stuff in my life every day and the negative parts of my life are bigger than the positive parts, to be honest. And I thought when I talk about it in this video, then maybe some of you guys feel better because um, it will make you feel like you're not alone. So that was kind of my thought behind it. Um, I hope that's okay. I hope that's all right. Let's start. I just try to control my face and I don't have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, my jaw is like, I think for a female face, it's like, I think this part is really masculine about my face. Like my jawline. I don't know. Tell me, tell me what you think about it. So one of my biggest insecurities, one of my biggest insecurities is probably 
My nose. That's my nose. Um, I mean, it's okay. I actually like this nose shape. I just don't like the length of my nose. I think it's, for me, it's too long and I feel uncomfortable. I just don't like when people look at me, when I go outside and people look at me, look at my face, I just don't like that they see me with this nose. I don't know, that's weird, it's weird thinking. Maybe my impression of myself will change in the future, I don't know. I thought about, you know, getting a surgery a lot lately. It's really expensive, so I can do it like next week, next month, next year, no chance because it's expensive and I think it's good that I cannot afford it right now because, as I said, maybe my impression of myself would change. I don't know. I always wanted to be a good example for others that you can accept yourself how nature made you, but I was lying to myself. I always said, oh, I love myself, I love my nose, I love myself. But I got more and more depressed and um, since the day I thought about getting a surgery. I felt kind of relieved, I think. So next insecurity, or I think maybe it's more like a weakness. Whenever there is room to think about something, my thoughts are more negative than positive. For example, when a member of my family said they will be here at this specific time and they're late, I always think, oh my God, they had they probably had an accident, maybe they're dead. Or when I think about my future, every single detail about my future, it always ends bad. It always ends in a negative way. And I mean, when you think about your future, you, you really imagine it to be great, right? And I imagine it to be great, but then negative thoughts are following instantly. Another insecurity is maybe Social anxiety. Social fucking anxiety. And I have to deal with it since a bunch of years. I think it kind of started um, when I went to school and I changed school twice. And I was always the new girl. Then I just got afraid of meeting new people, I think. And... Um, yeah, now I'm 25 and it got worse. I mean, um, you know, I'm cutting videos for a living. So my office is at home and I feel more comfortable at home. And this is completely like, this is my comfort zone. I feel safe here. And whenever I leave the house, social anxiety kicks in. I kind of got used to it and don't have the urge to leave the house that much. I just got used to it. I mean, I know that it's not good for me, because, um, I mean, humans need to interact, right? And I know that, and I think if I would interact um, more, I will feel better, but I'm just afraid. I'm totally afraid, and that sucks. So basically, my life is me being here at home, cutting the videos, getting the money, and that's it. I mean, I'm okay, but I'm actually not okay because I know it's not good for me because I'm 25 now and I'm not really able to interact with other human beings, sort of. And I'm too fucking scared and afraid to work on it. I mean, I tried getting out of my comfort zone a lot of times, but there hasn't been something that amazed amazed me that much, can I say this? That I wanted to stay outside of my comfort zone. Every time when I tried it, I returned and felt more anxious and afraid of everything. I know that the magic is happening outside of your comfort zone, but um, I feel like I cannot escape. I kind of blame the internet because the internet is so cold and I mean, I can upload videos without interacting with other people, you know? I just do my stuff here at home, um, uploading it and then it's there and people see it and I don't need to leave the house for this. I'm putting on some blush now. What color do you think 
is cute. Oh. Cute. I know that the situation that I'm alone most of the time is bad for me, even though I feel better when I'm alone. I'm afraid of supporting people. I'm afraid of people in general. I'm afraid of people hurting me. I'm just afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of having. I'm afraid of, you know, being judged. I'm just so fucking afraid of everything. And this kind of feeling keeps holding me back. Now you know that I'm an extreme introvert, that I don't like my nose, that I feel really um, insecure about my nose and that I mainly, or mostly, mainly um, have negative thoughts. I mean, especially the social anxiety part of me um, really keeps me from working on my dream, of course, because uh, my dream is to become a singer, being social anxious. Is this even a word, social anxious? So yeah, I don't know if I will upload this video. Let's see. If you see this, then I uploaded it, of course. Then, yeah. I see you in my next video or cover. If you haven't checked out my latest cover, make sure to check it out and yeah. Goodbye.